The struggle of being a YouTuber is that you have people welding outside the moment you're trying to make a video, but we're just gonna continue. Anyways, so I finished making this track and what I did when I made this track was I created kind of like a promo video for it that if you uh, if you if you watched my previous upload that I uploaded you probably caught it but I'm sure not a lot of people caught it but that's one of the things that I was saying that if you want to promote your music these are the things that you're gonna have to learn how to make and I'm gonna show you guys how I made it myself so that you can also make it yourself and just do the same and I'm gonna show you the free tools that you can also use I'm gonna show you a website and the free app video editing app that I also use to make this a uh, little bit of a promo video for this because it's really effective I see a lot of people using this kind of method to promote their music a lot of people ask me like how do I promote my music what can I do to promote my music and this is the answer I'm gonna give you the lowdown on exactly how I made this little promo video for my upcoming track that's gonna come out pretty soon so let me show you so here's the track fully produced it's looking super good super busy this is the track that I made here so the two things that you're gonna need is you're gonna need a video editing app of which for me I use DaVinci Resolve it also has a free version that you can download you can see it says uh, free download now right here and you can also buy it if you want to you can also purchase it right here but if you don't you know if you just want to use it for free you can also download it for free it's super simple and easy to use and then after that you also need some stock video so what I usually do is I come to this website that's called Called pixels and it usually shows photos first but then I like to go to videos and then I just search for something that I want to search for so when you come here to search you can always search for like you know dancing you know DJ at a party or DJ so if I search for dancing like this it will show me videos of people dancing like I actually used this one that you see right here it's gonna load up quickly so this is one of the videos that I used in my promo videos right so then I can just come here and I can download nice and easy they didn't pay me to make this video but this is just a, a free website that you can use to get a uh, footage that you can download where you won't get like a copyright issue on YouTube these are free to use copyright free footages that you can get and then you can also just scroll down if you want to see like other angles as well that you might want or even other suggestions that you might want to get so you download these and then you put them in a folder and then after you've done that what I'll usually do is then I go to my DaVinci Resolve I'm just gonna open it like this so this is what my DaVinci Resolve looks like and you can actually see the project is right here and some of my previous videos and my wife's videos as well because she does food videos and cooking videos and you can see like the history of the videos that I've made so I can just open the previous one that I did here so I can show you what it or what it looks like so here's the project itself here that I made right here so you can see how it's looking so this is the video if I just scroll around It looks pretty cool so this is how the video looks you can see here I have all the video clips imported in here and if I come on right here you can see there's someone DJing right here and there's also some graphics if I start turning all of these things off it looks like this right and then now it's just the video that I imported which is this one and then you can see down here it's the music right which is this one down here so that's the song that I just added and what you can do is you can just pick wherever you want the song to start so I could even pick that section there if I want to but for me I just like to uh, let it start from the beginning from right here in the beginning and then it just continues all the way like this and then what I added next here I just added this overlay that I added here you can see the overlay if I turn it on and off you can see what's happening up here it's adding a really nice effect to it so I like that uh, that effect there so if I play it it's it will look like this it looks really cool right and then after that I added an adjustment clip just to change change the color grading a little bit you can see the red right here is changing right so if I just do that it's just changing a little bit and then after that I also added some text so if I turn on the text you will see that is gonna pop up up here right you can see the text up here so this is the text file right here there so if I switch it on and off it says the title you know my, my name and the title of the song and then after that I also put on a logo right here in the corner 
so you can see how the project looks like right it looks like that and if i play it back So it looks really cool you can see there's people dancing here so as you can see that i've added all these things together that uh, is kind of giving setting the mood almost like a music video to the track that i made here so you have to pick your uh, your stock footage wisely like if you're trying to make like a song where you visualize someone driving like it's supposed to be like you know someone going on a long distance you want to pick like maybe a car driving or people in a car you know it's kind of like you're putting together a music video kind of for promo so that people can can kind of visualize you know the, the the images or the the kind of message that you're trying to portray in the song so for this one it's kind of like a club track that i had made so that's why i put people in the club and people dancing because it's kind of like a dance kind of track so when you make these promo videos you can use them on all your social media to promote your upcoming releases like i use them to promote my upcoming releases i post them on my youtube and i post them on my facebook and i even post them on my instagram as well so this is something that you can actually do to promote your stuff if you're thinking about how can you promote you know your upcoming release this is the best way and that's easily how you can do it and you can use any other app that you have you can even do this on the phone there are free video editing softwares that you can get on the phone uh, there's iMovie here on Mac that you can get that, that is free if you're using Windows you can get CapCut CapCut is also free if you're using the phone as well you can also just use CapCut it's a, it's a really popular free one that you can use with a lot of effects and you just put it in your style and you do whatever you do so that you create your own promo videos for your music before you release it so people have a kind of like a video Vision. and i like this style because it really looks like a semi music video where you tease the song before it releases so that people can actually know what you have coming next and it's a really cool thing to do you know you should really try it out try it out and see what's good if you want to see the full video like the full quality of what i created here i'll make sure i just put it right here on screen right here and if you found this video super helpful make sure to drop this video a like and also subscribe and if you have any questions feel free to drop them down below but other than that i'll see you in my next video i'm x and i'm out peace